Greetings, comrades. On this glorious inauguration day, let us prepare for our dystopian future by playing Papers, Please. Okay, I I don't know what I was trying to do. Um, I'm trying to make this lighthearted, but obviously I'm not too thrilled about the angry orange mob taking office today. Um, I mean, you, if you saw my review of Democracy 3 a few months ago, you know this is the opposite of what I wanted. But, um, but yeah, sure, let us... Let's mentally brace ourselves for rampant nationalism, xenophobia, homophobia, Islamophobia, tighter border controls, etc. By, uh, by playing this dystopian adventure thriller game developed by Lucas Pope and published by 3909. It's, um, it's $10 in the Steam store and has a pretty decent micro score of 85. Um, I didn't actually think this game was that much fun, like, I couldn't even get through the entire thing. But I understand the value of this game as, like, a really brutal, um, art experience, or, like, educational experience. Um, basically you are a border-crossing, um, guard or administrator, I guess more, more of an administrator, um, since there's pixelated figures with rifles would be the guards. Um, and so you, you determine who gets into uh, Artstotska, which is kind of a fictional country, but this could have been like um, the Soviet Union, or really like any part of Russia and Eastern Europe after the Soviet Union disbanded, or um, the Berlin Wall between East and West Germany, or um, the border even today between North and South Korea. Um, or, of course, the border between America and, uh, and Mexico. So in this game, the slogan is Glory to Artstotska, which every time I read that, I, I hear the phrase Make America Great Again, and I have the same uh, heebie-jeebies and the same sense of deep disappointment. Anyway, this is a triple, quadruple shot of, um, of vodka. I don't know if I can actually down this in one go. I mean... So unpleasant. I don't even know why people do shots, but it seems appropriate for the setting. Whoa. Oh, man. I mean, oof. I mean, I drink my favorite portion. In most of my video reviews, I'm drinking something, but it's usually like a well-composed cocktail, and I'm sipping it. Oh, man. Why do kids do shots of... Oh, man. Okay, I, I really hope I don't have to do a second take of this video, because I'm not, I'm not going to survive another quadruple shot of vodka. Why do I even have a shot glass this tall? Oh, yeah, this was a, this was a gift from one of my friends. Um, yeah, okay. Let us start the day. <laughs> All right, let's make sure your paperwork is in order. Expiration date is okay. Entry date is okay. The names match, Alexandra Orlova. Um, I should be checking other things like whether or not like the issuing city is appropriate, but I would have to go through this manual here and that's really annoying. So I'm gonna just have my fingers crossed and hope that this person was supposed to get in. Cause if I make more than two mistakes a day, then I'll start having Penalties I have to pay. Okay. Alright. I think that should be okay, unless the issuing city is wrong. I mean, sometimes there are obvious things like the gender doesn't match. Um, remember, this game takes place in like 1982. So, oh no! Invalid ID number! That's something I would have known if I'd actually bothered reading this uh, construction booklet. Oh well. But yeah, this is 1982, so people have much less awareness of um, gender and orientation equality issues. So yeah, there's sadly only two recognized sex sexes here, which just shows how backwards... Oh, whoops! Entry ticket. Sorry, that was the old protocol. Now you need permits. And the difference between a permit and a ticket, uh, who knows. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, someone scammed you. But yeah, I'm glad to be living in modern times where there's a little more equality for non cis hetero people. Hmm. I hope this is right. It's not like I actually had proper training before winning the labor lottery. Oh, really? Does he not look like his photo? Oh man, that's what I get for starting the workday with a quadruple shot of vodka. Um... Oh... Yeah, you haven't met your entry date. I'm sorry. You're not going to to see your son. I... I feel terrible. And I think that's, like, part of why this game is such, like, important, like, art or educational experience. Um... And you don't have your passport. Okay, this time I actually need to use the rulebook or else I can't proceed with denying her. And there's nothing I can do. Because if I lose this job, I'll be sent to jail. And my family will either starve to death or be sent back to their literally like mud village. Oh no! What do you mean invalid name? It didn't match? Oh, this is why you shouldn't have a quadruple shot of vodka at the beginning of the workday. Uh, wow, this is totally fake. This is funny, this Georgie Kostava guy, he is a, he's a recurring character and he will keep trying his, <laughs> he'll keep trying his hardest to sneak into Artsotska, which I have no idea why anyone would want to enter this terrible country. I mean, look at the armed guards and how unwelcoming this place is. I mean, really, immigration controls and, like, national borders? Like, I don't normally court curse during these videos, but I have to say, that stuff is, like, bullshit, really. Freedom of movement, it should be a basic human right. Oh, I was about to stamp that. Wrong thing. Um... I mean, I remember some of my ancestors, they had a hard time coming to uh, the United States because of anti-Asian quotas, which were the norm back then. So, like a lot of Asian immigrants, they actually moved to South America first, um, to Brazil, where they lived there for a couple of years until they were like Brazilian citizens, and then they could immigrate to America as Brazilians, thereby bypassing the quota system. Uh... Okay, I hope I'm right. Um, but yeah, there's... I mean, it's not all bad. Thanks to that, my grandparents and parents had a taste for Brazilian food as well as Asian food, so now I get to eat the best of both worlds. But even so, it really is total bullshit that they weren't allowed to just come here straight from Korea. Um, Oh, I totally missed if you said two days or like several months. Okay, I could be wrong. Please don't be wrong. I wasn't actually paying attention to what you were saying. Am I going to get another citation? Please, please don't give me another citation. I have to feed my family. I don't want to go to jail and have my family starve or be sent back to their terrible, terrible village. Okay. Please not be an invalid issuing city. Oh no! Oh, it is an invalid issuing city! Oh, this is terrible. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the next day at this rate. Couple days. Wait, no, that's not right. It says three months. That's not a couple days at all. If you don't know how long you're supposed to be here, then you're not supposed to be here.
I mean, that's not how I really feel in real life, but for purposes of surviving this game till the next day, I have to be cold and unfeeling. Oh, you know, I totally wasn't paying attention again to what he was saying. Oh, please don't have been here for the wrong amount of days. No! Wait, not matching photos? Seriously? Oh, so bad. Okay, I guess no food tonight. Just, just heat. So this is a situation, right? Like, as much as I just want everyone to pass, every time I let someone pass who isn't supposed to, my wife, my son, my mother-in-law, and my uncle, like, they could get sick or go hungry or eventually die. So, it's like I have to be terrible to other people in order to survive. And again, that's what the, the art interaction and um, education and experience of this game is, is to make you feel bad for A, a situation in which there are closed borders and people aren't allowed to move freely, to work and join their families. But it's also, I think, intended to elicit a little bit of sympathy for, like, really low-level people. Like, some individual, like, guards and administrators in these posts, they may not actually be, like, xenophobic or, like, terrible people. But if they don't follow whatever um, fascist or communist or otherwise tyrannical Trumpian um, rules, then, then they and their families suffer too, so... I think this game is just meant to depress you. Like, like even though I see the artistic value of this game, a couple months, even though I see the artistic value of this game, I'm not actually having fun. Like, this game is too painful and depressing for me to actually beat the entire thing. What? Seriously? Oh man, that's a bad way to start today. First of trip, passing through, duration of stay. Okay, 1980. Uh... And thing is, I mean, for things like invalid ID number or issuing city, like I could consult the rules book, but if I do that, then I. Wait, seriously? I missed that? Oh, I'm just getting worse and worse at this. Wait a moment. I know this name. Hold on. Republia, track star wanted for murder? No, that's, uh, let's interrogate you. Okay. Alright, while I'm normally all for letting people cross borders freely for work and family, you are straight up a murderer. Murderers don't have rights. Well, except to a fair trial, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you're clearly guilty. Oh, you don't have a passport. You do have your permit, but you don't have a passport. I, I'm sorry, lady. Okay, um, I mean, I should feel worse for you, but if you don't even know what a passport is straight up, then you m might be underprepared to travel. <laughs> like, it's not even like I'm giving you a hard time. It's like these guys over here will straight up shoot you. So in a sense, I'm kind of saving your life, maybe. Two days transit. Okay, it looks okay. Yeah, I don't blame you for hating this country. I would also hate this country. In fact, I already hate this country. I hate this country so much. Um, Artsotska. Or maybe in a couple years, Trump's America. That, uh, that I can't even get through this entire game. Uh, I forget. Is East Gretchen an invalid country? 
I honestly don't remember. I hope it is valid though, because at the rate I'm going, I will get paper wrecked, and therefore I'll be thrown in jail for no invalid district. Oh. Alright, so East Crest Creston was no good, but West Creston, surely that's okay, right? No! Oh, oh, oh. It, I, oh. Were, were the two names not matching? Sometimes they're off by like one letter. Pyotr Vostok. And I totally missed what he was saying. Oh gosh. Please let this be okay. Alright, so this is that guy's wife. Uh oh. You only have a passport. You don't actually have a permit. Oh, man. I don't want to break up a married couple. You'll be killed if you return to Integria. I am probably going to go to jail, and my family will probably suffer for this, but I will try and do the morally correct thing here. I hope you don't forget. Send me some letters to me when I'm in jail. Duration of stay. A few weeks. Yeah, one month is equal to a few weeks. Sirija Liman Liman Limanskaya. Uh not expired. I just hope that the ID and issuing city are not wrong. Oh no. Incorrect purpose response. Oh I it didn't match visiting friends. Okay. Visit two months. All right. Surely this one has to be correct, right? Oh man, I feel the stress levels rising. This is like worse than playing those bullet hell shmup games that I do so many reviews of. Trans transitioning to a couple weeks. Yeah. Okay. Please wait. Nineteen eighty two. Eleven twenty one. Oh, this is expired. Ooh, okay. Sorry, buddy. You are expired. Passing through, transit, duration of stay, couple weeks. Sure. Not expired. Whoa, this is not you. That photo doesn't match at all. Okay. Maybe that's just a bad photo. Yeah, Glory Tartsutska, or Make America Great Again, Invalid District, oh no. Alright, I think that penalty is what's going to send me to jail. Let's see. Here's my Sydney's Medicine. Well, ah, uh, negative 45. That means I'm going to jail. Yep. Combination of me being merciful to people who needed mercy, and also a little bit of drinking at the beginning of the workday. Because if you don't comply with the system, someone else will. Yep. And 
and I see Trump's orange face to pay in this. So, um, so yeah, um, overall, I feel kind of torn about this, but I have to say, Lotus Crane, meh, because this really isn't like a fun or enjoyable game, right? Um, and, I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a really intense, like, art, interaction, simulation, like, educational type experience to make you understand these issues um, and improve your historical perspective. And it does do that, don't get me wrong. Um, but um, there is, like, a, a free demo of this, and just a few days of that is probably sufficient for getting that experience. Um, I would maybe only buy this game if you wanted to give the developer some money, which, I mean, sure, I mean, this is good in its own way. I'm sure he deserves... Um, some of your money, but I, I just couldn't get into this game enough to actually finish it. I mean, it's it's just super depressing, too. Um, and beyond this game review, um, I really do hope that um, my worst nightmares, and really the nightmares of like slightly over half of the population of this country, don't come to pass, and, and I really hope that the U.S. does not turn into Artstotska in the next few years. I really hope that this country continues to be a place for citizens of um, all races, religions, um, genders, and uh, sexual orientations. I, I really hope that we don't suddenly become more racist and sexist and xenophobic and everything else that's like wrong with this country. I, I hope we don't fall into that situation. But, uh... This, this is... This is the dystopia of our own making. Um, if you like this video, and assuming that I haven't been sent to prison for saying unpatriotic things, um, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Uh, I'm Lose Crane, and... I mean, it won't be straight shots of vodka, but I'll probably drink a bit more and cry myself to sleep. Um, Liz Crane signing off.